I'm now joined by Jody Nicholson, the singer-songwriter from Darlington, who has just graced the Deer Shed Base Camp. I want to call it a stage, a barn, yeah. the yeah, sessions. A <laughs> I like the sound of a stage. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. It's really yeah. nice to see you after yeah. four months or so of everybody being apart and... Um, yeah, it's great to see you playing live again. Yeah, oh, it's so nice to be back. So nice. It's felt like a long time. <laughs> a long time coming. Um, so it's been a pretty busy 2020 for you, even though things have been, well, on the quieter side, should we say, in terms of the world. But for Jodie Nicholson, it's uh, oh, it's been yeah. a bit of a roller coaster, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, this is the busiest that I've been the, since doing the album which is so crazy to me like at the beginning of lockdown I think every single artist was in the same pool where they were like this is going to be terrible what are we going to do we can't play it live we can't do this we can't do that and it's been almost a blessing in disguise I've just been so busy working on music and writing recording prepping for new stuff which is very exciting um so yeah it's been great actually <laughs> very exciting indeed and you released your debut album golden hour last year yeah uh, uh -huh. that was late last year wasn't it? it was september yeah yeah yeah. and then you started a kick kickstarter campaign yeah um, to get that one out on vinyl yeah which started that you in May. yeah mad. absolutely smashed <laughs> yeah yeah i did not expect it to go as well as it did like i was a bit apprehensive about it and then it smashed the target in the space of like four days, which is phenomenal. Um, and I think it was like 250% of like what the target was wow. in the end, which is mad. Like I'm so grateful. So yeah. How did it feel to have that kind of support? Because obviously we've been away from live music and away from venues where you're able to, you know, stand in front of perform and you get to see everybody that's come to listen and, and watch. Was that a nice booster for you to kind of know you still have that support there? Yeah, definitely. Because I think if you're not playing live, you don't, you can lose that connection with people. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it was, it was just a massive sense of relief that, I don't know, people still want to listen to your music. And I don't know. It, yeah, it was, I, didn't, I don't want to say like a huge confidence boost, but it was definitely reassuring that all these people still wanted to hear stuff and yeah, I don't know. And buy the album on vinyl. Yeah, exactly. Most importantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apart from that, you have been awarded the Do It Differently Fund as well by yeah. Help Musicians UK, mm -hmm. which is an incredible, um, well, it's, it's just a great thing really for artists to kind of get a little bit of extra help, especially now, like you said, with all the live performances that you can't do. How was that for you finding out about that? Um, I did not expect it in the slightest. Like, obviously, you put forward funding applications, but they're so competitive. And I think they chose roughly 10% of people to get awarded who actually applied. Um, and, yeah, it's already been such a game changer because you don't just get the funding itself to go towards a project. You also get things like mentoring with business professionals. And, as you know, it's just... It's amazing, really. Um, but it's got me really excited for releasing music again, which is the main thing. And the track sounds ace. I just can't wait to share it. But yeah, a few months time. Yeah, so you're talking about a new track coming yes. out. Yeah, so we're going to yeah. be getting some more music from you before the end of the year. Yeah, Can you tell me excited. a little bit more about that or is it all under wraps? Um, it's a bit of a curveball. I think <laughs> it, might, it might split the crowd slightly, but it just feels like the right time to take a risk right now, especially creatively. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait for people to hear it and I hope that... I hope that people enjoy like seeing a slightly different side to my music and what, what I can offer, really. So, yeah. yeah, I have to say I've had a sneaky listen <laughs> um, and it sounds incredible. I should probably say that we've got our resident bumblebee with us right now, buzzing around my head. <laughs> um, I think it's really enjoying the music today, just like everybody else here. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so new music coming out before the end of 2020 sounds... <laughs> Great, especially a curveball. Love a curveball. Can't yeah, wait to hear uh -huh. it. Um, but how is it for you today just performing and getting out? I know you've been doing lots of live streams, but it is a little bit different, isn't it? To yeah, it's so nice just seeing an audience and seeing people's faces. Like live streaming has been great. Like it's kind of filled a void in so many ways. And 
allowed it I mean, it's great in the sense that you can still play to an audience and still share your music about um but nothing beats a live audience of and course. actually playing on a stage or you know like this kind of setup um it's really special and nothing will ever replace that so it's nice to just get back into the swing of things and yeah feels good well, thank you so much for coming down today. It's been an absolute pleasure having, having you. I feel like everybody was mesmerised by your performance then. And uh, thank you. I can't wait to hear new music from you. That's exciting. <laughs> thank you.